Hey guys, this is Sala. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your DVR so that you could use your computer or laptop to access it when you're away from home. Before we begin, you want to make sure that your router is connected to your DVR with an Ethernet cable like so. Here we are on the live view screen of our 960H DVR. The first thing you want to do is just right click once to open up the row of options down below. You may need to right click twice if you had a channel selected or highlighted. Click on menu and it starts us off on IP channel. We're going to go down to network and jump over to the advanced tab. You may notice that the server port is set to 9000. We're going to actually need it to be over 9000, so just delete the last three zeros and change it to 9999. And here for the HTTP port, we're going to change it from 80 to 8888. Make sure that this box is checked and then just click apply and OK. Next, I'm going to show you what to do on the computer so that you know exactly how to pull up and access your DVR's interface through a web browser. So here we are on a Windows computer running Windows 7, and before I can show you what it looks like to pull up your DVR, we're actually going to need to get your public IP address first. And in order to do that, just simply open up any web browser, in this case I'm going to be using Google Chrome, just go ahead and search what is my IP. I'm doing that up here because it's Chrome, otherwise just type that into Google's search box and it will actually return it to you on the search page without you needing to open up any one of these websites. So write this down, save it somewhere, maybe even as a bookmark for your favorite web browser just so that it's easier to access. Next I'm going to show you what it's going to look like for you when you're away from home and logging into your DVR remotely. So here we are, one last time on a Windows computer. Make sure that you have your public IP address handy. Go ahead and open up a browser like Google Chrome and start punching in all of the numbers. In my case, it's 50.162.18.140. And this is where you want to add a colon and your HTTP port number, which was 8888. It may ask you to install a plugin with a little icon up here. Whatever it is, just click install, run the program, make sure your plugin's installed. You may have to actually end up refreshing the page just for the plugin to pop in and work correctly. And other than that, once you see the interface looking like this, just punch in your password. Change the media port to match the server port, if you recall, was 9999. And change LAN to WAN and click the arrow. Once you see all the cameras come up, that means you're done. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe to our channel and also check out our other how-to videos for Amcrest Technologies.